right, you're welcome back. Last week we were talking about what season the Oscars and the EMVCs were upon us, and we had some predictions. And Isabella actually is here with us again. Welcome back. Thank you. So, how many losses did you oh, <laughs> did you score too many losses. with your predictions? <laughs> okay, many you were losses. right with Leonardo DiCaprio. Yay, now we can rest. Leo, we can Leo, rest from that. Leo. Yes, <laughs> I think everybody saw it coming. Like Leo, only you that saw fast. I mean, I, di I didn't necessarily not see him. I just thought. Um, What's the guy from The Danish Girl? I can't remember his name. Not Fassbender. Yeah. I thought he just was a better actor. But I mean, he couldn't win it back to back. So. Yes. Yeah. You were very excited. Yes, Eddie Red Eddie, Red Eddie Redmayne. Redmayne. Yes, that's yes. his name. Yeah. Uh, he's so good. I yeah. loved him in the amazing. other film. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. So I saw some and I was very happy. <laughs> Apart from um, Leonardo DiCaprio, um, we had the... Okay, I lost out on Vikanda. Yeah, so you lost out on Vikanda. I lost out on Sylvester Stallone, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, Stallone didn't even come. I'm very happy the, he didn't win it. The best picture. Yeah. Yeah, like that shocked everybody. Nobody saw that coming. Like, nobody saw that coming. How does that happen? I don't know. Then? I mean, but it's, it's what you said about the Oscars <laughs> the last time. They yes. like to throw those curveballs sometimes and go for films as against massive budget movies sometimes. You know, you know that reminds me about my experience when I was at um, Berlin International Film Festival just about two, three weeks ago. Because some of the films I watched, I was like, what did I just see? I just yeah. spent, and you know, um, at the film festival, there, there was a movie that was eight hours long, and all the jury members, including the president, Meryl Streep, had to sit down and I'll watch, watch it. And, and somebody who saw it and came to join us was like, oh, I saw two hours, and I could have continued watching for eight hours. So I think abroad, they're more interested in the art, pushing the boundaries of filmmaking than, yeah. you know, just entertainment Excitement. factor. Yeah, but there were some weird films. I think uh, the weirder it gets, the more buzz. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the EMVCs now. Um, one of my predictions came th came true. Um, I did so it's on me for yes. Best Actress. Yes. Beating out the veterans. I think Stephanie and Jenny Was that your there. prediction or my prediction? No, I mentioned I her. Said I said that this well too. I said, you know. You just concurred. <laughs> Actually, I went up to Adisa, so I was like, you know what, I said it on channels, and it did come true. So yes, I was so happy for Adesua. Um, You know, it was funny, because I was watching the um, the red carpet segment, yeah. and Tokba Tedela, who had won two years ago as the underdog, they asked him, who do you think will be this year's spoiler, this year's underdog? And he said, DKD, Daniel K. Daniel. Yeah, that was quite interesting as well. I didn't see that coming. No Shegu Arinze. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Ramsey no, I think, was there. Uh, no, Van Vika. Van Vika, yes. Yeah. You know, I think Majid Michel as Michel well. Was there so as well. they're like all these greats and Blossom Chukudeku. And he had know. two nominations and lost Yes, yes. We should change the <laughs> best actress in the comedy to Funke Akindele's category yes. permanently. I'm pretty telling much you, at this point. I was like. She's was, won it every year, hasn't she? I think the first year she did it, then which was that, nominated. Is, then it was like, girls, I have to step <laughs> up. And that's what she's done. She yeah. stepped up and, you know, she gave this nice speech. Then towards the end, she's like, something, Lara. I was <laughs> like, yes, we needed that. Amazing, though, for Fowles, the bad guy, for Fowles, Larry Falana. Yeah, apart from best the actor. whole um, Uti and him wearing the twin boy thing <laughs> with the mustard the suit. suit. <laughs> is it yellow or mustard? I call it yellow. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, mustard yellow. I mean, I was really rooting for him because Faz is like this split personality. You know, one minute he's like this uncouth Yoruba demon, and then the next minute is this intelligent guy. And I think that's what you want in a comedian someone who's smart enough to be funny but not take themselves too seriously. Yeah. So, yeah, I it's was amazing. very happy. He's, a, he's a musician, and see him winning such yeah. a top actor nomination or category is amazing. Isn't and, it? and, you know, the Funke Akindele thing, too. Yeah, they both won for the same movie. Yes, book. like, you know, they both came out together, yeah. and it's like, oh, they have the winning formula. Like. Then Dry won for Best Picture. Yes, you know, uh, Muiwa, who was here last week, said yeah. he was rooting for Dry. You know, um, Genevieve's movie did One for do Best West Africa. Yes, you know, that is voted by the viewers. So, I mean, the viewers are saying we want Genevieve for West Africa. But when it came to the judges for the whole of Africa, it was Dry. This are you surprised? I, 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 I mean, it was a very good movie, like I said, so I'm, I'm actually not that surprised. But I want to talk about Genevieve for a bit now. Second time she's been nominated for Best Actress. Yes. Second time she's lost it. Yes. <laughs> Is she going to be Aulina <laughs> DiCaprio anytime soon? Well, <laughs> I think we'll give it to her like four. Let's give her four chances. And then we'll like have like a campaign, Genevieve as Best Actress. <laughs> like we have to have this. But um, I think it's um, a trend that the new people, that's new Nollywood, new actors, emerging faces, are taking this seriously they're yeah. putting in the work because if you're not going to get those votes in then i'm sorry you can't yeah. just expect um, just because you've and reigned in the past yeah. yes finally let's talk about um, one of our friends of the house who's been here a number of times kemi lala kindoji yes 
<laughs> you don't Who understand. Of it. You I don't actually want a car, right? Yes, a brand Can new you? car. <laughs> like, you don't understand. Like, when I started hearing the first two, three lines, I knew it was La La. I was like, this is La La. You know, you know they, f they missed out the fact that she's a casting director, but, you know, they said so many things about her, like how she's an actress, she's helped people through open mic. And I've interviewed Kemi La La, and one thing that always comes through is that she's passionate about yeah, what she extremely. does. Extremely. Committed hardworking and never can die, never yeah. gives up spirit. And to see that rewarded is like, Isabella, you've not started. You need to <laughs> up your game. And I hope people out there are listening that, you know, hard work does pay. It's Very not true. about Instagram likes or Facebook pictures. It's about getting your hands dirty, putting in the hard work and the rewards will come. <laughs> Thank you very much, Isabel. It was a pleasure talking to you. Hopefully Thank we'll be back you. again next year to Hopefully. talk more uh, awards. Or maybe when the Amas come around, maybe. Yes, yes, know. yes. Please, <laughs> I'm always happy to be here on Robbie Minds. Yeah. And um, I'm hoping one of these days I'll um, take my acting a bit seriously. So. Go, go. Yes, you know. <laughs> you heard it here first. Thanks for being here today. Thank you so much. When we come back, we'll be talking some more fashion. Please stay with us. <laughs>